Big changes coming to our lakefront parks as Cleveland Metro Parks pours $14 million into improvements. Our Homa Bash looked into what those changes will include today, and she's live down at Euclid Beach. Homa, what can we expect? Well, Mike, don't expect anything overnight. Cleveland Metro Parks has a 20 year master plan to revamp some of these lakefront parks. Starting in just a few weeks, though, you'll see big changes in construction coming over Euclid Beach and Euclid Creek. Just one of big, several big projects going on with all of that cash. Remember the Euclid Beach Park? Roller coasters, food, family fun, making this stretch of beach the place to be. Fast forward 45 years, and now you've got this. Room for improvement, right? It's been 18 months since Cleveland Metro Parks took over the lakefront from the state. With the lakefront, we received about $14 million of capital. The first use of that money will be constructing a pedestrian bridge over Euclid Creek, connecting Wildwood and Villa Angela. New pathways approaching the bridge on both the east and the west side that amount to a little more than a quarter mile of trail. Next up, a million and a half bucks to tear out this old pier at Euclid Beach and build a brand new one. Over at Edgewater Park, say sayonara to this 28-year-old concession stand. It'll be demolished after the next summer season. In its place, a two-story beach house with food, lockers, and a sunset viewing deck. We really want to make a statement with the new beach house and build a structure that both complements where Cleveland is going and also Edgewater Park. Those are just some of the short-term improvements. Metro Parks also has a master plan that stretches over the next two decades. After getting input from a series of community meetings, the last ones held last week, more upgrades will get underway. The thing about these parks is most of them have had public access for over 100 years. And so we really, in a lot of places, have some good bones to work with. We're really building on the foundation that we have. Construction uh, on this 165-foot pedestrian bridge will start sometime uh, in the next few weeks, and it's expected to end by next May. Now, you still have 10 more days to give comment to the long-term plans. You can go to the Cleveland Metro Parks website. There is a public comment form where you can add that in. Live at Euclid Beach, I'm Homa Bash for the now. All right, Homa, thank you so much.